Hey everybody, it's Merkel, and today we're going to be predicting what expansion will be following World of Warcraft Legion. Now, the top guess right now um, goes as such. Following the events of Legion, we had a stockpile of now useless artifact weapons. We had nowhere to put them. They were just crowding our bank space, wasting room. So... Our dear friend Bolvar Fordragon graciously allowed Northrend to be a storage for these now junk weapons. However, things quickly got out of hand. The polar caps of Northrend began to melt at an alarming rate, introducing World of Warcraft Global Warming. Now obviously that was a joke, but we're going to get into our real predictions because we did this at the end of WAD and it was quite accurate on Legion. I mean, I don't know if any of you remember, but that was a lot of fun. I had fun doing it, so um, Legion's getting pretty far in. I figure it's time to see what we guess comes after Legion. Now there's only two routes that make any sense to me, but we're going to go ahead and explain them. So the first round, at the end of WAD, WAD kind of leaked into Legion. It was a flowing expansion, like you were supposed to all happen all at once, and it flowed together. It's very possible they're doing that again, and the reason being is we keep getting hints about Argus, and I mean here, even in this little cinematic with Illidan talking to us heroes, he said, you're going to follow me into the abyss, and he's indicating Argus, so it's very possible that we go to Argus at the end of this expansion, because right now, we're supposed to be closing the huge portal that's at the Tome of Sargeras, and uh, it's maybe we don't close it, maybe we actually go into it and just head on right into Argus to try and, you know, defeat them. I know there's multiple patches following 7.2, but it's possible that's the route, we're, the route we're taking, you know? I'm just saying it's a possibility. Or maybe like the demon hunters who commandeered a demon ship, maybe we steal a couple more of those and fly off like the good old Exodar right into space and uh, kick some butt. Now, that's my first, my first guess. Maybe Argus is our de destination. Um... The second one makes a little more sense in terms of time-wise, because I know that WoW has probably a good six to seven more expansions, at least, for it to run, if not many more. And uh, it seems so early to go to the Legion's base, I'm not saying it's not a possibility, because the Legion is not the only antagonist in our entire storyline, they're just a huge portion of it they've caused a lot of problems um but there is another storyline that makes sense if it follows legion and that's the one with queen ajara um she was a big character in the past but we didn't hear a lot about her for a long time until recently in legion she started showing her face a lot um lots of things started popping up about good old queen ajara and uh, she, we even meet her at one point. She's walking in the thing. So, I mean, she's been showing up a lot in Legion. And the reason why she could be the next expansion is it makes sense. It makes sense that we're following through with that. Now, this would obviously be an expansion um, on Azeroth itself. There's no reason because Queen Ajar is here. And it would also probably involve Inzoth, which is like... The Cthulhu of um, World of Warcraft. He's just a big, like, tentacle monster, supposedly, in the water. And um, she basically works for him. He gave her a lot of power, but he's a, an old god. And we, we see a couple old gods every couple expansions. Obviously, Vanilla. We had Cthun, um, Yog Saron, and Wrath of Lich King. And um, he even played a big role in. I, I think Inzoth is the one that corrupts Deathwing, if I remember right. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but I know Deathwing gets corrupted by one of the old gods. That's why he goes crazy, and I, it may be Inzoth. Um, so he's played a big role. 
and he hasn't actually ever showed up in any expansions, so maybe it's finally time he shows his tentacle face. Maybe Exodar, offspring of him, I don't know. But in any case, it makes sense that that would be the expansion following too, because we even see a lot of stuff with the Emerald Dream, and Inzoth is the one that's messing with the Emerald Dream all the time. So, it, it just fits. Anyways, that's my ideas. I don't know. You feel free to share. I just can't think of any other ones um, that make sense right now. At least, not in terms of how we're going with Legion. So, there you go. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.